All right, and we're back for another quick tutorial on the Lowrance HDS Live Series GPS units. We are using them for navigating off-road, and today I want to show you guys how to measure distances on the map. Uh, there's three different ways to go about doing it, and the first way I want to show you is how to measure a different distance from where you currently are to another point anywhere on the map. And to do that from the chart screen, all you need to do is touch on the map and in the bottom left you'll notice that there is a distance showing there in this case it's 2.7 miles and that's just as the crow flies from your current location marker to those crosshairs 2.7 miles so that's pretty simple in the top right you can clear click on clear cursor and that crosshairs cursor will will disappear and that measurement disappears as well but now let's say you want to measure a distance between two points and you're not at either one of those points. For that, you'll use the measure feature, which is on the right side of the screen. Now you'll see that this uh, like balloon looking icon pops up and there's actually two of them there. They're just right on top of each other. So what you'll do is just drag one of those with your finger across the screen and you'll get the measurement between those two markers. So as it is right now, we are seeing another measurement uh, that is similar to the one that we had before because the second bubble is defaulted to our current location, but we can drag that bubble as well. So we just touch on that guy and we can drag it wherever we want. And we can go back and forth. We can readjust the first one as well. So now the distance between those two bubbles is showing 5.55 miles. When you're done measuring, you can just click on finish measuring in the top right and clear cursor to restore focus on your current location. Now let's say you want to measure a distance, uh, not in a straight line, but along a, let's say you're planning a ride and you wanna know how long that ride is gonna be. Well, what we can do is create a route and we can create that route by going to our waypoints routes and trails uh, menu which in the past we've gone to uh, you know we click the pages button and then um, well for those of you that are new we'll show you you click the pages button and then go to waypoints on the left side here and then um, you know to get to trails you have the trails tab and we're going to be looking at the routes tab today but I'm going to show you a quicker way to get to this. So I'm just going to exit out of here. You can actually just press and hold on the waypoint button in the top right. And then you'll get a window that pops up and you can go straight to routes. It was a little bit faster that way. Now from here, you'll go to new in the bottom left to create a new route. And then for our measuring purposes, we're going to create on chart. So now from here, we can just touch the map where we want to start and it'll drop a little green circle. And let's say we're going to go out around this hill and uh, kind of scoot across the desert here and end up down here by back door and short bus. So in the top left, you can see that our, our total distance so far is 6.19 miles with the last leg between those two points is 1.72 miles. Uh, so that's one way where it'll show it, but if you wanna save it, you can click save, name it, you name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave the default here. And now that route is has turned black with the white uh, dots that you have created. Now when we go back into the routes screen here, you'll see a list of all the routes. In our case, there's only the one that we just created. And in the right column, it shows 6.19 miles. So that is the total distance for that route going in one direction. So anyways, that's all my measuring advice for tonight. I will be making more of these videos make sure to subscribe so you can keep up to date on more tips and tricks for these Lowrance GPS units 
And uh, we're gonna start having some more fun here before too much longer as well. We're gonna start doing some demos while we're actually out on the trail and show you some other tips and tricks and cool stuff that you may not have known about, especially if you've only ridden with these things recreationally or not racing. So uh, definitely uh, keep an eye on the channel. I appreciate you watching and we will catch you guys on the next one.